My name is Gary Burgess, and here's how I've learned to live with an invisible illness for which there's no cure. Before being diagnosed with ME, I was one of those eight days a week people working as a journalist at ITV News, either running the news desk, producing the programme, reporting usually on the day's top news stories, trying to get out there, getting the stories, breaking the news, a very active person at work and at home. I was in the middle of presenting a live news report when I had an out-of-body experience. I could see the presenters, I could see the cameras, I could see the camera operators, but I was literally looking at this from the ceiling. Straight after that broadcast, I went into the green room at the TV station and basically stopped. My body came to a crashing halt. It just could not cope anymore. I, I broke. Was I physically ill? Was I mentally ill? What was happening? Was I just burned out? Did I have a serious illness? I had no idea what it was. I just knew something was very wrong. And when I went to see my GP the following day, I thought he was gonna sign me off till the end of the week. He signed me off for the next month. That month turned into nearly two years. So ME is a chronic illness characterized by a bone crushing, crippling fatigue. Imagine your worst hangover combined with the flu permanently. As well as that, there is whole body pain from head to toe. I mean, constantly in an awful lot of pain and cognitive dysfunction. There are times where I cannot find the words to form a sentence. I cannot think properly and my eyesight and even my hearing begins to fade when I've done too much. Being diagnosed with ME was like a grieving process, grieving for the old me. Until I had it myself, I didn't quite understand what a hidden disability is and how all-encompassing these symptoms are because you simply can't see them. The hardest thing for me is not having an end to this roller coaster I'm on. Normally, if you have an illness, if you have a problem, the medical profession can help. It might be an operation, it might be some medicine, it might be some kind of therapy. With ME, that's simply not the case because the medical profession still doesn't know what caused it and still doesn't know how to treat it. My life has changed dramatically. I guess it's safe to say old Gary is gone. This is now Gary version 2.0. I've learned to appreciate being in the moment far more than I ever used to. I have far more presence. I enjoy being around my friends and family and loved ones. I enjoy simple things like the birds in the trees or the sun in the sky. Perhaps previously, I was a little bit too busy and focused on what next, what next, what next, to actually enjoy what's happening right now.